Sio baba. Na ile mbegu ya Ibrahim all the way the Bible is Jesus Christ. Yote kote katika Biblia ni Yesu Kristo. When you take that out, unapoondoa hiyo kando, you will you will find that the Bible has a big hole. Unapata kwamba Biblia inabaki na shimo kubwa sana. Haleluya. Amen. When you look at um the atonement, unapoangalia kuhusu ile upanadisho, as you see as we say from from um Genesis chapter 6 na kuona pale katika mwanzo mlango wa sita all the way God to act when Jesus was crucified mpaka wakati ule Yesu aliposulubishwa we remember all of God kiondoa hayo je you can see how skeleton now the bible is beginning so naona bila bibili da baje tu ambao ni kitu ambacho hakuna mtu look at the passover kiangalia ya pasaka that was started uh, in the old testament apo ilianzishwa katika mfumo ya gamu la kazi and see and remove everything dealing with the passover from the bible na wanaona kila kitu kinachohusiana pasaka katika biblia until the, the perfect sacrifice was given baada ile dhabihu ya iliyokamilika ilipopeana you find now the bible becomes like a few, few pages in few lines nafao dapata kwa mbili mbaki na kurasa chache sana na ni style ni chache then you continue kisha utaendelea haleluya amen when he started talking about um Emmanuel alipoanza kuongea kuhusu Emmanuel in the bible katika biblia haleluya at the time when he he, he was born mpaka wakati ule alikuja kuzaliwa and started his work na akaanza kazi yake huko ndo ondoa hayo yote haleluya amen and you find Now the Bible is remaining with just a few a few paragraphs. Na baada kwa mzile jabati na kurasa chache sana. Haleluya. Amen. And continue doing that. Na endelea kufanya hiyo. Finding anything that is talking about Jesus Christ. Yaani kipale kitu ambacho kinaongelea kuhusu Yesu Kristo. Try to see if it was not there in the Bible. Jaribu kuona Bible like kama ende kwa pale katika Biblia vile ilionekana ikionekana namna gani haleluya amen so you see is the theme of the bible unaona kwamba yesu ndio kiini cha biblia without him in the center is no bible bila yesu ndio kituo hakuna biblia but when the disciples or when the prophets were bringing that picture kino wakati manabii walipokuwa kileta hiyo picha and, and it came na ikaje and it was fulfilled na ikatimizwa but when jesus himself came Yesu mwenyewe alipokuja we see he's talking about something else. Unaona kwamba anazungumzia kitu kingine. Haleluya. Amen. Here he's talking about his people. Hapa anazungumza kuhusu watu wake. His believers. Waamini wake. He says you wait there. Anawaambia ngojeni pale and you receive power from on high. Mpaka mpokee nguvu kutoka juu as it has been promised in the Bible. Kama vile inaagiwa katika Biblia. Praise be the name of the Lord. Amen. So you see Uh, his his vision was to see a church as it has been promised in the bible naona kwamba ono lake alikuwa aliona kanisa kama vile vilivyoigiwa katika biblia haleluya amen glory to god amen in john 14 katika yohana 14 we see him now talking about himself naona kwamba yeye akizungumzia yeye mwenyewe revealing himself ilifunua yeye mwenyewe and then he reveals the church na kisha anafunua pia kanisa is talking about the believer anaambia kuhusu waaminiyo those that will believe on him wale ambao watamwamini yeye the, 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 the things that i do they will do also alisema kwamba yale mambo ni afanyayo pia nao watayafanya that's why when you see in the, in the in the message of what the holy ghost was given for when apart katika hilo jumbe kwa nini roho takatifu alipeana the prophet tells us now we are God gives the Holy Ghost na pia anataka kwamba Mungu anapeana roho takatifu so that the people can continue ili kwamba waamini wapate kuendelea the work that Jesus started yani waendelee zile kazi Yesu aliyoianza haleluya amen and he himself was providing a way for that na yeye mwenyewe alikuwa anatengeneza njia kwa ajili ya jambo hili ah if you don't believe me kama uniamini mimi that's fine hiyo ni sawa ah but believe the works that I'm doing amini zile kazi nizifanyazo that in the message I'm giving you hata ujumbe ambao nawapea ninyi and the works that I'm doing na kazi nizifanyazo it is the father that dwells in me ni baba the works baba kaida ni yangu ndiye afanya hizo kazi amen amen but i say unto you ninawaambieni nyinyi he that believes on me the works that i do shall he do also 
Just like when the prophets were there, they knew the pillar of fire one day will become Emmanuel. Hallelujah. And Jesus knew. The Father is in me. One day he will change his working place. He will change his workstation. He will change his wearing place. He will change his place. He was changing from, uh, 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 from the tabernacles. Kama vile kwa kibaliza kutoka katika ile maskani into the temples hapa katika maekalo like that from pillar of fire to the clouds and so on kama vile kutoka kuzi ya moto na kuja katika mguu wingu and, and finally into Christ na mwishoe akawa ndani ya Yesu Kristo then now the Lord Jesus knew na sasa Bwana Yesu alijua that's what I'm talking about hiyo ndio jambo ambalo nimejia and he prepared in you when I go ah hallelujah they yeah. say Spirit of God. Now you have to Mungu. We will have a place to, to dwell. Atakuwa Hallelujah. Amen. And from there, the Spirit of God will be working. Na kutoka hapo, Roho Mungu The work that the Spirit of God will be working is exactly the work that I am doing myself. Kazi zile ambazo Roho Mungu anataka akifanya, zile zile kazi ambazo mimi nazifanya. The work that I do will you do also I will give you another comfort Amen. that day you know that I am in the Father and the Father in me Amen. and you and, and I in you Amen. and the Father in me and you in me Hallelujah. that day you will know that God and you will be one just like I myself and the Father are one. Hallelujah. That day you will know that you are much and Hallelujah. That day you will know that God will never work outside you people. God will not work without the church. Hallelujah. Amen. Look at 
John 17 Ya kuangalia Yohana 17 Pas 21 Yo haya ya shirina moja That they all may be one As thou father art in me Amen. And I in thee That they may That they also may be one in us That the world may believe that thou has sent me Amen Wote wawe na umoja Aha. Kama wewe baba uliko ndani yangu <laughs> Nani ndani yangu Hawa na wawe ndani yangu Nani ndani yako Na hawa wawe ndani yesu Hili ulimwengu upate kusajiki ya kwamba Wewe ndiwe ulienetuma That's the thing Yo ndiyo jamu That's the final achievement Ayo ndiyo ele maafikio ya mwisho That the world may know Hili ulimwengu ujue That God sent Jesus Christ here on earth Kwamba yeza lintuma Yesu Christu hapa duniani The spirit of God must work in the church Roa mungu lazima afanya kazi Nani ya kazi kisha know the law Amen That's why Yo ndiyo sababu The prophet was Very much in his time Nabi alikuwa ametakisika sana kufia chat which is dukwa yani akiona kanisa ambalo liko vugugu which is not aggressive in the in the promises of God ambao ana ukamamu katika zile hali za Mungu because that's what God wants to do hiyo ndio jambo ambalo Mungu anataka kufanya blessed in the name of the Lord amen that the world may know ili kwamba ulimwengu ujue the world may be that thou has sent me wewe umenituma and the glory which thou has given me i have given them that they may be one even as we are one amen i in them and thou in me that they may be made perfect in one and that the world may know that thou has sent me and has loved them as thou has loved me amen Nani utukufu ule ulionipa nimewapa nimewapa wao ili wawe na umoja kama sisi tulivyo umoja amen glory amen utukufu a church which is glorious yani kanisa ambalo ni tukufu is already given to us tayari wao tukufu umepeana kwetu and we must understand that that's what he wants to achieve na lazima tuelewe kwamba hiyo ndio jambo ambalo anataka kupata hiyo jambo hilo sio amen Mhm. Amen. 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 Mimi ndani yao nawe ndani yangu ili wawe wamekamilika katika umoja amen ili ulimwengu ujue ya kuwa ndiwe ulinituma haleluya ukawapenda wao kama ulivyonipenda mimi amen baba hao ulionipa nataka wawe pamoja nami popote nilipo wapate na kuutazama utukufu wangu ulionipa amen kwa maana utukufu wangu ulionipa kwa, kwa maana ulinipenda kabla ya kuwekwa misingi ya ulimwengu. Haleluya. Amen. These people, hawa ah, they are blessed people. Wa ni watu waliobarikiwa. The Lord that you gave me, I have already given them. Ule utukufu ulionipa mimi nimewapa wao pia. They may be one. Ili wawe mmoja. I in them mimi ndani yao and them in i na hao ndani yangu manifest more than glory like the way that you love me yeah wakidirisha utukufu wote kama vile ulivyopenda mimi so that the, the world may believe ili kwamba ulimwengu upate kuamini they may believe that this bible talks about a jesus kwa kuamini kwamba hii biblia inazungumzia kuhusu yesu who is alive yule aliye hai they may see the believer like him wanapoona muaminio aliye kama yeye manifest in the same akidhihirisha kitu kile kile vile Yesu alivyokuwa na we together amen that is the final achievement na hayo ndio yale maajabu ya mwisho ni nafanya lakini anataka maaminio amen kama yeye mwenyewe amen that's why there was a, the restoration ndio sababu kulikuwa na kurejesha of the bride tree kwa ule mtu wa bibi harusi that right ndio ni sawa that's why there was a reformation ndio kwa sababu kulikuwa na hali ya marekebisho why you thank him kwa sababu luda ile 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 wewe ile akaja apostles came wapendekote our prophet came na 
Pia nabii wetu akaje. Oza, yote hayo. He wants to continue. Anataka afikilo chao. Haleluya. Amen. Oh glory to God. Amen. And the prophet tells me. Na nabii ananiambia mimi. God is waiting for somebody who can sow seed. Mungu anapojea mtu ambaye anaweza wao jambo hilo jambo akaiona la kumbe hiyo hii amen hawezi fanya kazi na wewe from any angle mpaka uone hilo jambo amen na ujitoke huko ndani amen 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 sababu acha kiole ni kutulivu amen ili tuone amen ndio nasema the revelation of the mysteries Nofunuo azile siri is to reveal the truth which is already written in the Bible. Ni kufunua ule ukweli ambao tayari umeandikwa ndani ya Biblia there. Uko pale tayari. But again, although it is revealed, hata sasa hata kama imefunuliwa, there is some spiritual something there. Kuna jambo la kiroho pale that unless you see it kwamba isipokuwa uone hilo jambo kaka haiwezi kukia mimi wana nawapatia mfano wa Biblia hii Biblia Biblia hii Muislamu akisoma yani kila anaona Biblia yake hata si yake 1% ya Biblia yeye anaona kitu cha kupinga cha kupinga cha kupinga kwa sababu hata mimi nimefunuliwa yeye umebaki hali ya kiroho ya kufunika ni mpaka upate ufunuo kutoka kwa baba amen are we together amen and so you uh, i hope you are seeing it brother na tumaye naiona hilo jambo tu amen because the prophecies na nabii alisema he is waiting for someone anangojea who can see ambaye anaweza kuona hilo jambo in some way else we read where uh, the prophet was saying jesus himself saw it na maalum mtu asoma mahali na pia wakisema kwamba Yesu mwenyewe aliona hilo jambo aliona kwamba kumbe nimekuja kwa ajili ya ile amen nimekuja kutimiza ile amen sika mambo yanipata haleluya amen kumbe oh ndio sababu katika ujumbe huu kumbe nimekuja kutimiza hii amen ah bravo na Ah, wapo akikuwa macho namna hiyo. Unjui utafanya namna gani? Kuna car ukijua from here. Something must happen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Ah. Ah. Can continue. Ah, uh, see how uh, our Lord was preparing his people zapendelea zapendelea vile bwana alikuwa kitaarisha watu wake amen hivi I will send you the spirit 
ukote kwa mota ndio atumene roa Mungu aliyefariji God will give you forever amen alikuwa mmoja na anyi milele and if you believe me na kama mkiniamini mimi you are the works that i do you will continue asika zile kazi zifanyazo nanyi mtaziendelea some of them will let them along the way na baadhi ndio kazi ziliachi no it can this Peter will do this one God will do this one Paul will do and that one, one William Barbrand will do that one Luther will do amen that one ndio mungu might bring to pass every promised word of god asababisha kuja kutukia kila neno lote la ahadi ya mungu in these last days katika siku hii za mwisho when you look at the message of christ the mystery of god revealed tunapoangalia ujumbe wa kristo siri ya mungu ile kunuliwa the most important post ile sehemu ya muhimu zaidi that he was talking about ambaye alikuwa akizunguzia is revealing the work of the times ni kufunua ile kazi ya kanisa the bride be the arusi because god has changed his place of dwelling kwa sababu mungu amebadilisha mahali pake pa kukaa so that the church can see ili kanisa lipate kuona jambo that's why the prophet was waiting the power of god jesus christ the same yesterday kwa sababu na pia alikuwa kama nguvu za mungu kwamba yesu christ yule jana hoping that somebody will see akitumai kwamba mtu fulani ataona jambo hilo and will believe it na atayamini and when they believe it na wakiamini then he was come and bury them basi atakuja na akae ndani yao amen so that he can bring to pass every promise of god in the this last year ya sababisha kuja kutukia kila ahadi yote ya mungu katika kizazi cha mwisho amen see most people look at themselves watu wengi wanajiangalia wao wenyewe they don't think na wa hawaamini that they are the ones kwamba hao ndio they don't think hawaamini hawa wa 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 hawaezi bila alivyo don't look at what you eat wewe usiangalie kile ulicho don't look at where you sleep usiangalie mahali na kula don't look at amount of money in your pocket usiangalie kiwango cha pesa kilicho mkoni mwako don't look at we what the kind of family you are born from wale usiangalie jamii ambayo ulizaliwa kutoka hiyo jamii no la god knew you come you come from that family mungu alijua utatoka katika hiyo jamii haleluya amen you come from that tribe utatoka katika hiyo kabila you come from that language utatoka katika ile lugha you come from that region utatoka katika maeneo yale
Why me? Why me? Why me? Amen. Is it God who brought that to us? Is it God who brought that to us? No. La. Why you? Why not you? Why not you? What is your last name? Yeah. If it is hard trials, God tries people according to their faith. Kama ni majarimu makali, Mungu ajaribu watu wake kulingana na imani yao. That's why it is you. Ndio sababu ni wewe hilo jambo. It is you. Ni wewe. You are the only one who can overcome that trial. Na ni wewe wa pekee unajashinda hiyo jaribu. The other ones can fall. Wengine wakaanguka. So that's why it is you. Ndio sababu ni wewe. Hallelujah. Amen. Why me? Why me? Why me? Why me? Why me? Why me? Until you lose all the faith. Papa, the potential of the man you are. It's you. You are one. But God has seen your faith. Mungu ameona ni mani yako. That you can, you can stand. Papa, you are one of the same men of Islam. It is given to me. I'm the guitar of him. Baby, I'm called. Ah, I'm the tabu. God has not given any trials. Ah. To, to make you fall. Mungu apeane majaribu kwangu ili akufanye wewe uamke. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. But you see, you must believe that you are the one that God saw to believe his word and bring it to pass. Lazima uamini kwamba wewe ndio Mungu yule aliyemuona kwamba utaamini neno lake ndio sababisho neno ile kutukia. Kila haja Mungu. Amen. Which God promised this day? Apo Mungu ameahi. Yo, and me are the people to bring it to pass. We are not men. Yo, we are the people to bring it to pass. Hallelujah. Amen. How many believers? We are going to have many. Hallelujah. Listen, brother. Listen. God is watching you. Mungu ana kuitaji we. Hallelujah. Don't ask him any question. Usimulize masuala mengi just to go there. We are to solve the issue. And I'm so glad you chose me. And I'm so glad you saved me. Hallelujah. I'm so glad you saved me. I'm so glad you revealed this to me. I'm so glad you revealed this to me. Now send down your powers. Because I'm ready to do it. Why? Why should you ask like that? Because he told his disciples. His disciples. You shall receive power and the Holy Ghost comes upon you. And you will be my witnesses. Hallelujah. Two witnesses. And those who have received the Holy Ghost and God has sent the power. Glory to God. Now they can move in the condition that Jesus was. When people are pushing in before that, he said, What am I going to do to a woman? I have not started my work. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. What about the disciples? Before that, they were fearful like Peter. But when he came in, he gave them the power. They were not fearful. They were not even fearing death. But a king fall. Amen. Amen. When he gets the preliminaries, and after that, Bule Utawala, he gets in the charge, the position. Yeah, Utawala, then he appoints a Bule Sem. Yeah, his position. Sem, yeah. His place in the charge. That is Sem, yeah. Okay, then he appoints. Ah, hallelujah. Amen. His place in the charge. Sem, yeah. Okay, then he appoints. Give him his place. That many Sem, yeah. Don't restrict him. Hallelujah. Amen. Oh, glory to God. Amen. Don't stop him to, to play his 
wala msimzuie kutenda sehemu yake ndani ya kanisa glory to god amen jesus said yes what say the prophet is now translating what is blessed uh, among us too jesus said he that believeth on me the works that i do shall he do also in the more than this shall he do yes what say yeye yeah, aniaminie yeah, mimi kazi nifanyazo na ile ya state hata zaidi kuliko ile kwa sababu naenda kwa baba this is not to to say now you want sign to what 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 no this is kusema mambo ya kaka ishara this is very careful sikiliza kwa makini sana the prophet says see that was his part na pia anasema unaona hiyo ndio ilikuwa ile kusudi la this part hii kusudi la that the believer kwamba mwaaminio that the works that he did zile kazi alizofanya i always challenge you to go and read Matthew chapter 4 na kila wakati nawaambieni mkasome madhara ya kufungu cha hii all the way to the end kutoka hapo mpaka mwisho it will give you an idea itakupa wewe wazo what jesus was thinking about kile yesu ambaye alikuwa akiwazia the works that he did kazi zile alizofanya praise be the name of the lord amen what about in the uh, in corinthia se ni bibi je kuhusu kitabu cha korinto haleluya amen can you read a little bit let us soma kidogo uh mark that place sister we shall come back corinthians korinto let's get it let's get it fast all right corinthians chapter 12 fast and korinto what kuna bibi
Ali, 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 Ili amichaze vitu vyote <laughs> Nae alitoa wengine kuwa mitume Iyo. Na wengine kuwa manabi Na wengine kuwa waitilishi Iyo. Na wengine kuwa watungaji Na wali Iyo. Kwa kusudi la kwa kamilisha watakatifu Hata kazi ya uduma itendeke Hata mwili wa kristo ujemu Hallelujah Amen you can see now that the gifts are being added. Yeah, they are being added to add uh, ministries, five ministries. Uh, is there, is there a, a part of that of that of that uh, gift. For edification and for perfection. Hallelujah. Yeah. Down there, I think also in the uh, in Corinthians, he, he also implied that the gifts is start with the apostles and pastors and, and teachers and prophets and the gifts of miracles and and so on and so forth. Amen. Is that right? What is what is he saying? Yeah, that's a Without those. Be less of power. Yeah, the church cannot be perfect. And is that and raise up Camilica? Even if you say that the ones that I do is your view, all those people they want gifts. Yes, the church must want the gifts. And is that as the Malita all the gifts. Be power, judge, for perfection. Wajila Camilica. Hallelujah. Amen. Listen. Even he talks about the fruit of the spirit. In Galatians. He says the fruit of the spirit. And he says the fruit of the spirit. Those also must be in the church. Not the operation of the gifts. Only as you see them there. But also as you see them in Galatians. Everything, the ministry, Duma, the gifts of miracles, the power of God, and so on, and the interpretation, and the fruit of the Spirit, all those things. Without that, be like you, brother, the church can never be perfect. Can you look at this? I just can be like you. Where is he? Amen. I can't move. I can't keep you in view. Amen. In his fullness. I can't go to me. You want to watch. Amen. In his fullness. Praise be the Lord. What? Jesus said, He that believeth will be the works that I do shall he do also. Yes, I said, My father is the last of men. I mean, you mean that as Jesus. Even more than this shall he do, for I go to my father. That was his power. Hallelujah. Amen. There was the manifestation. And now today, he wants to get someone and attack a pattern to that can so see him. That can let the world. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. 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 See, Jesus so saving so. Yes, you are was so perfectly born for the living. Now, you can't believe who, why did I scream? Until God expressed every move that he made. Mpaka mungu aliyelezea atuariyota kumonyesha atuariyota yinoshkua. Ali, 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 dirisha. Amen. Kila tendo aikuwa na fan. Amen. See, manifestation is an expression of God for what the word is saying. And if you are a believer, God wants uh, he, His word to be expressed in you. So that people can see what that word means. Amen. 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 Amen.
Mungu atufunua and today na leo the church kanisa is Jesus Christ redeemed ni Kristo ajiwa anajifunua anajifunua anajieleza amen Praise be the name of the Lord. Amen. Now I hope we are together, brother. Amen. Ah. Praise be the name of the Lord. So we saw that uh, this is the time um, of God in many. Kwamba huu ni ule wakati wa Mungu akiwa ndani ya watu wengi. Comes God in one person. Waanza alikuja ndani ya mtu mmoja, messenger, jumbe, kushoje tu. Aonyeshe watu that the, the, the Bible word is true. All right. Amen. Ah. God in his body. The church. Right. Amen. Amen. If we can uh, know that, I'll go and get it received in the church. And, and, and people go to God. Hallelujah. Amen. You know the people sometimes they they confuse issues. Remember, the church did not save us. Kanisa alikutoa sisi. No, la the friends that we love so much did did save us. Wala marafiki nao penda sana. Hawakutoa sisi look for us. Hawana hawakutafuta in that for us. Hawakutufilia. Hallelujah. Amen. But you trust so much that you forget even the word of God. Lakini unawadhamini sana mpaka unasahau neno la Mungu. Neno la Mungu unasema nini? Amen. Ina kwa Yesu sana. Amen. The word of God Nena la Mungu is talking about you inazungumzia kuhusu wewe is the one who said you yeye yeah, aliyepokuwa wewe who took you from the world aliyekutoa ule mbinguni and he's telling you and me the purpose of telling and taking you out of denomination na anakuambia ile kuzuri lake wewe la kutoa wewe kwa madhehebu he didn't take you out of denomination and make you live like a denomination man akutoa madhehebu na kufanya uishi kama mtu wa kidhehebu amen amen no. la Uh, he didn't uh, he didn't uh, send up uh, uh, Moses to Egypt after mtuma Musa kule Misri to take them out of Egypt our toil kule Misri and make them go somewhere to the border of Egypt and, and be in Egypt behaving like Egyptians na watu wao pale katika pengine katika mpaka wa Misri wakae kando kando wanajiendesha tu kama wa Misri choose themselves the kings like the, the Egyptians na wachambue wao pale na kama kule wa pale wa Misri no la he wanted them out of it aliwataka watoke Misri in the place that he ordained them to be na waende mahali aliwakusudia wawe the place where he ordained us to be is in Christ Ah, hallelujah. Amen. Manifesting the promises of this day. That mahali alipotukusudia sisi ni kwa ndani ya Kristo to be the richer zile ahadi za siku hii. Siku hii ya leo. Amen. Siku hii na tukanisa. Ah. Amen. Nienda katika Acts chapter 4. Unakuta baada ya Petro na Yohana uh, kwa ile kuete pale ikawa ni soko na wale wadi unajua watu wa dini they are very strange very strange people mtu amekiweke hapa miaka na miaka sasa ameinuliwa ako sawa wanaanza kupigana wanataka kuua hawa watu ambao wamempatia uh, tumaini ya kuishi kama mtu mzuri eh, eh, lakini wao Walikuwa wanasema nini? Yesu yule yule. Amen. Ule muua. The same Jesus that you crucified. Yes, yule yule mliyemsulubisha is the one. Ye, was given legs to this man. Amen. Mfanye ukiweje asimame. Haleluya. Amen. And then they, they were supposed to kill them. Kisha walipata walikuwa na kuaua, but then they saw something. Let's see. Lakini wakaona jambo fulani. Let's see again. Hebu tuone tena ndio. 
is good to, to look at the Bible how our, our fellow believers were. Amen. Okay, let's read from verse 13. Now, when they saw the boldness of Peter and John, no, Acts chapter 4, 13. Now, when they saw the boldness of Peter and John, and perceived that they were unlearned, unlearned and ignorant men, they marveled. And they took knowledge of them that they had been with Jesus. Amen. Basi wale poona ujaziri wa bezu na yuwana na kuwabia kuwa ni watu wasio na elimu, wasio na mari, wakasika ajabu, wakatambua ya kuwa ya kwamba walikuwa pamoja na Yesu. Amen. Amen. They were with Jesus. Wamba walikuwa pamoja na Yesu. Hallelujah. Amen. Oh. I like to see people with Bibles in the church. Then I want to walk upon a million and a Kanisa. I'm going to be to have a million to have achieved something. The power to have a plan in our blood and our blood. We have to be able How many have got Bibles today? I'm going to be able to have a million. How many don't have Bibles? You are going to have a million. I want to have a million. I want to Hallelujah. Oh, if you have got a smartphone, bring your Bible to me. Ata kama wana katika nilu bibili do katani ya simu, jona bibili hapa. Ata kata mili kwa na bibili ya hapa, ata kwa simu, ata kwa tablet, kwa nayo. Lakini, hii ya bibili ya hii, there is something special about the bibili ya hii. Na jitu special na hii ya... Ata, ata hii kile songo moshi kinjitu kile naso, ata kama ukuli. Kaki mingile kituwa katuna... Moto or something, na kwa watu wanaanza kuhu. Sasa mtasa wameona, sijui kutakuwa ke. Aleluya. Unajua ukeka shambani, hata kama una aja ya pangu. Pangu ya lazima iwewe. Nikwe? Iwewe. Ya. Ya nato, kama una kibiri ya nendo usikuwe. Nunuwe lao. Nunuwe. 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 Amen. Alright. I was reading from Paul 13. They, they took knowledge of them that they had been with Jesus. And beholding the man which was healed standing with them, they could say nothing against it. Amen. Now what you want to do aliyefanya akisimama aliyeponywa akisimama pamoja nao nao hawakuwa na neno la kujibu hawawezi amen kwa sababu yule kiwetu amekuwa miaka mingi kwa pale anasimama na wale wake amen sasa wafanye nini tena wanatambua hawa watu walikuwa na Yesu amen yani watu ambao wamemjua Yesu kama vile ameandikwa bibiliani watafanya mambo haya eh amen but when they have commanded them to go aside out of the castle they confide among themselves say what shall we do to these men amen for that indeed for that indeed a notable miracle amen. has been done by them is manifest to all them that were in Jerusalem. And we cannot deny it. Amen. 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 Waka wa muru kutoka katika baraza, waka wafanya shawari wapa wawo, wakisema, tuwafanyie nini watu hawa? Maana, idhairi kwa watu wote wakao Jerusalem. Takwamba, ishara mashuri imefanyo nao wala atuwezi kuikana. Yeah. Atuwezi kukana. Amen. Jambo notable. Amen. Jambo ambayo hawezi kuweka question mark. Amen. Hawa watu wa betenda. Amen. Hawa wa minio. Amen. Hawa jine liye yesu wa nikuwa nafani. Amen. Amen. Siyo jizita wa yiku na question mark, question mark, 
Unapomtaja kuna sehemu fulani kutokwa mbia kutokwa mbili. Amen. Thank you Jesus Christ for healing me. Thank you for chasing this people now. And I'm so happy. I glorify you. Hallelujah. No mention of David because you are him. He was defeated. He was defeated. He can do nothing against you. I stand alone to you. Hallelujah. Amen. He can do nothing. See, I don't believe out. I am not But the Holy Ghost does. When you come out, he cries out darkness everything. Yeah. Every darkness he takes out. Giza yoto utoka inje on the soul. Then he knows. The darkness that you are born with. Ile giza mo ulizaliwa kwa na yuko na. Hallelujah. Amen. The darkness that came after Adam and Eve era. Yani ile giza lilingia baada ya Adam na Hawa kukosea. It can never be removed by anywhere. Aiezi ondolewa katika jela yote ile. Except God himself. Ni kwa Mungu mwenyewe. Walk in. Akiingia pale ndani. Hallelujah. Drive out every town. Kisha anaondoka kila shamba. Then you become a believer special believer. Kisha unakuwa mwaminio special. Who believes all the promises. Anaamini hadi zote. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. And you are able to stand. Na una uwezo kusimama. Hey. May God help us. Amen. Amen. So the prophet now is telling us something here. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Say, as I say, if the life of Beethoven was in you, kama vile ni kusema kama uhai wa Beethoven ulikuwa ndani yako. You would live like the like Beethoven. Utaishi kama yule Beethoven. And if the life of Hitler was in you, na kama uhai wa Hitler ulikuwa ndani yako. You would live like Hitler. Utaishi kama vile Hitler. And when the life of Christ is in you. Na wakati uhai wa Kristo uko ndani yako. Haleluya. Amen. Because that is why where it is now. Sasa hapo ni kwa mahali ilipo sasa. The very spirit of God that was in Jesus Christ. Roho yule yule wa Mungu aliyekuwa ndani ya Yesu Kristo. Now he is a believer in the church. Sasa yuko ndani ya waamini hiyo, ndani ya kanisa. And if he is in there. Na kama yuko pale ndani, when the life of Christ is in you, wakati uhai wa Kristo uko ndani yako, you will live like Christ. Utaishi kama Kristo and the works of Christ you will do. Na kazi za Kristo utazifanya. Amen. Na Kristo. Amen. Nasema kuna wengine kuna wengine na watu wengine wanasema unajua haya mambo tengeneza kutegemea kipao. Wewe wewe alipatia kipao gani ambao akigirishe Kristo? Amen. Na shaka basi kanisa lote nzima Mwana baka huyo analuka na hakuna internet. Ah, kanisa lote ni. Na baskotisi. Kwa hiyo ndio wito man so all maybe they are hidden somewhere because those are not easily visible. But what about prophets? Bibi jengo sio nabii. Ah. He said covet prophets. Sema msiuzuie kama unabii prophet. Tamani. Amen. Tabii. Ha, kanisa. Ha. Amen. Praise be the name of the Lord. Amen. Kuna mtu mira. Mimi je ni ujiza? Sasa ndio anga. Shara na majabu. What about preaching the gospel? Ni vipi kuhubiri nchi? No the challenge is this. The Bible tells us Yote wakati nasema bilio natuambia the gospel came not unto you in word only. Kwamba injili haikuwajia nini kwa neno pekee but I for what? Amen. The Bible is telling us it didn't come to us the Gentiles even the Jews from that time in word only. Natuambia kwamba injili haikuwajia wa mataifa. Amen. Paulo. Amen. Oh, amen. The prophet one time he preached the word, if God will be with us, why all these things? 
mmoja na pia lubiru chipe kwamba kama Mungu pamoja nasi mbona mambo haya yote Where are those signs that our father has talked about wapi zile ishara ambazo baba zetu alituambia This is what are written here Hizi zile ambazo zinaandikwa hapa Amani amani Mungu alikuwa na kazi kwa sana Hallelujah. Amen. And they are so united. 
Na wameunganika sana. And they turn it down. Na wakataa jambo hilo. They ate nothing but spiritual death. Hawana lolote bila kifo cha kiroho. At always. Kila wakati. Naona pale tuko. Amen. Hapo tuko. Hatuko pale ambapo ujumbe ulianza. Amen. Ambapo tunaweza kuwa tunafanya kosa hii, tunafanya kosa hii na Mungu anajua ah 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 ni watoto wa kanani na wao haya ninajua. Lakini sasa pale tumefika analenga straight pale makusudi ya kuleta ujumbe. Amen. Makusudi ya kufunua miuri saba ili uone mahali pako. Amen. Kama vile unavyoona mahali pa Yesu uone mahali pako. Ah. Mahali petu sikiza ni Kristo yule yule roho wa Mungu. Amen. Mungu za Mungu Elohim. Amen. Ndani ya kanisa. Amen. Anasema kubali hiyo ama ukatae ama ufe. Amen. Two things. Amen. Yes or no? Yes you move it. No you die. Bali naingia ndani na tao na kufa. Haleluya. Amen. Na kanisa hivyo hivyo. Kikataa jambo hilo. Hakuna njia. Basi ikiendelea na tu sawi basi Mungu alifanya makosa huwa nguvu zetu hawa pende kote. Ndio bidesho. Mate pia leo alitegi um uh methodist and so on. Sasa mtaupiwa. Mungu ameacha waendelee hivyo. Unaona lakini? Amen. Asa. God has got a purpose of bringing us at that level. Ah, yeah, Mungu ana sababu ya kuleta katika maeneo haya. And that's why ndio sababu yeah, in performing the things that he's performing in our midst. Anakuwa kifanya yale mambo anayotenda miongoni mwetu. Oh, ili kesi. Ponya wagonjwa, ili bali ni oppressed, kuomboa na oteswa, raising the people, kuvutu kusimama kwa kuponya miwete, ili ukiwa mmoja Him and Christ together. Yeye na Kristo akuwa pamoja. Is the spirit working in the flesh of the church. Ni yule roho akifanya kazi ndani yule mwili wa kanisa. Like it work in the flesh of Jesus. Kama vile yule roho aliyofanya kazi akuwa ndani ya mwili wa Yesu Kristo. Are we together? Amen. Kwa kama mnasikia pengine mmekuwa saturated na sakwata. At least mkae na hiyo. Amen. Sikiza vizuri. Hatuka toka hapo mpaka Mungu atokoe. Amen. Na ukikataa utabaki. Sikiza vizuri. Utabaki hivyo hivyo. Eventually you die and you just pass. Utakufa kwa mtu akilini. Because you are brought to the earth to manifest Christ. Umeletwa hapa duniani ili umudhihirishe Kristo. And that's why you do the same works. Kwa sababu alitumia mihuri kwa lifting us spiritually above all spiritual people now. Akitumia kiroho juu ya watu wote wa kiroho hapa duniani. Hata wale wamesomea sivi dini nini. Ah ah. Wewe uko juu. Amen. Amen. It is for Yanya mwili wako like it work in the flesh of Jesus Christ. Kama vile ilivyofanya kazi ikiwa ndani ya Yesu Kristo. Because it is part of his body. Yeye ni sehemu ya mwili wake. Not twice but one. Si wawili bali mmoja ya one. Wote ni husband and wife. Yaani mume na mke. Mume na mke si wawili tena but one. Bali mmoja and Christ and his body is one. Na Kristo na mwili wake ni mmoja. That's what we are still talking about in the Bible. We reading about in the Bible. Ndio sababu nasoma hilo jambo katika Biblia. Haleluya. Amen. He can never do anything. Hawezi tena jambo lolote until but you accept. Unikubali that he, he does it through you. Kwamba anaitenda kutia wewe. Haleluya. Amen. But one. And Christ and his body is one. Lakini Kristo na mwili wake ni mmoja. And the same spirit was in Christ is in his bride is born. 
na ule roho aliyekuwa ndani ya Kristo yuko ndani ya bibi yake harusi mwili wake mwili wake amen mwili wake hauko mbinguni amen mwili wake uko hapa chini amen na nataka kufanya kazi ndani ya mwili wake amen ndani ya bibi harusi wake amen haleluya amen ndio sababu hata maandiko yanatuonyesha yani katika katika eh, eh, maumbile si mwanamume ndio anazaa watoto amen ni mwanamke si ni kweli amen ah si mwanamume ndio ananyoshi nyonyesha watoto ni nani mwanamke ni mwanamke there is division of labor yani kuna yani magawano ya ile kazi kazi wapo kitu kimoja huyu kazi yake ni ku provide nguvu huyu mwingine ni kutekeleza amen John chapter 11 tunaisoma ya kwamba kwa kufunua Lazaro. Yaani amewaonyesha kabisa na wameamini kabisa. Wakifika pale tabrini, hawaambia sasa wanasheni ile tu. Amen. Ah, kuna nguvu ya kurudisha uhai ndani ya Lazaro. Si ana nguvu ya kumwambia wewe jiwe toka. Amen. Si ana nguvu hizo. Amen. Lakini haikuwa ni kazi yake kazi ya waaminio ilikuwa kutoa ile ile jiwe amen baada ya kutoa jiwe yeye yeah, anakuja sasa na kazi yake Lazaro toka jo amen ah Lazaro akainuka akiwa amefungwa vile vile na akatoka sijia alitokaje haleluya na alipotoka yeye Yesu akasimama sasa amemaliza akasema sasa ufungue amen haleluya Baipo maita kumfungua akwambia basi mpajeni maziwa. Haleluya. So you see that's why the works of Jesus Christ are few in the churches today especially in the churches of believers of the blessed. Amen. Because I assume that God will be just walking there in their midst kana kitafita hii bitu kando kando ya binti yao namna hiyo. Hapana. Amen. Anataka kufanya kazi ndani ya mwili wake. Amen. Na mwili wake ni wale ambao wameingia ndani ya ule mwili. Amen. It is for the that unites them together with all the world. Katika mwili wake ambao unaunganisha pamoja na neno lote and God living in there na Mungu akiwa akiishi pale ndani katika ule mwili ule amen himself yeye mwenyewe manifesting it akiudhihirisha huyu huyu mwili lazima udhihirishwe amen kwamba huyu mwili ni wa Mungu amen haleluya unajua yani ya neno la Mungu inakuja upande huu ukienda ukifunga upande huu inakuja upande huu sasa una kwa kwenda mwisho inakuja hapo juu sababu anajua umekeje hapo sasa huwezi kuja huku na huwezi kuja huku eh yani tena mtu imeku shepherd huku na huku na huku na huku na huku kama uko tu pale sasa alafu inakuja yani stage kwa kifo yeye mungu aweze kuishi ndani humo mwenyewe na ajirishe ule mwili Amen. Amen. Look at your brother or sister. Ile shida, ile shida iko nayo, Mungu pengine hata iondoa. Anangojea wewe. Wewe bado uko tena tena kando kando ya Mungu. Sasa hawezi fanya kitu. Kuna mtu hapa, wewe ugonjwa wake lazima ukae kwa sababu yule Mungu alitaka kumtumia bado Ah, haja jelewa yeye ni nani? together. Yeah, but God cannot work in any other way. Mungu anafanya kazi katika njia nyingine yote. This is how the Antichrist is saying. The religious pastor. Ile ule mpiga Kristo na yeye sema mpiga Antichrist is to say. Na mpiga Kristo anasema, "Oh, I believe in Christ." Hakika naamini ndani ya Kristo, believe in the gospel. Naamini njini. I believe in these things. Naamini katika mambo haya. But you know, kinunajua prophecy. 
There you are. Ah, but people, but you know, the days of miracles is past. There is no such as that. There you are. Oh, I don't believe you have to be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. No, no. Amen. Amen. No, no. Finger Christo and an operate there. Like How God will use you? Amen. Amen. When he are now back. Amen. Kai Amen. Praise be the Lord. Amen. Um, this is what Christ is revealed in his own one. How he came to fight that's 0822M. That's 0822M. Christ is revealed in this one. What? Like a 141. Here a little and there a little. So that you can prepare to. Then he was made actually human flesh. That is Christ. Jesus. And, and God among us in the person of Jesus Christ himself. Born of the Virgin Mary. He came in that form. So he could die. And went back into heaven. Now can we return to the And in these last days, he has promised to manifest himself in the fullness of day. Of his flesh in spirit. Now the people are saying, for as it was in the days of Sodom, so shall it be in the coming of the Son of Man. So kama vile nikuwa siku zile za Sodoma, vile nakamekuwa wakati wa kule kuja kwa mwana wa Adam. Hallelujah. Now look at the Sodom. Sasa angalia hapa tazama Sodom. He said that what taken place. Vile nilikuwa na jiwe kilichotukia. Hallelujah. Amen. And Jesus Christ being manifested, na Kristo alikuwa amevilika in bodily form of his church today. That's what that's what the prophet was pointing to. Pointing us to Jesus as he wants to be in us. See, Jesus come and be at Yokua Jerusalem. Amen. Our prophet was pointing us to the living Christ, the Holy Spirit, who wants to live in us. Manifested in his uh, bodily form of this church. Doing the same thing. The same work. The same thing that he did all the time never changes. So we should not change him. No, let us leave him as the same yesterday, today, and forever. Ah. The eternal one, see? Ah, born the earth today. He has manifested himself in the human bodies. Our human bodies. That he has called and done exactly the same thing he done in sundry times. And in the times of his flesh upon the earth. And doing the same thing today. Amen. Amen. Your mind was in flashing in the prophet. Amen. <laughs> So let's look at the three manifestations. Just um, 
below paragraph 142. Now the next thing happened, it's all gathered up into that one person, Jesus Christ. Right. And body at the physical return of the Lord Jesus. First of all, is he coming in the flesh? Then in the bride. He consolidates himself in the whole bride at the coming of the Lord. Then the first church to the last church to the living bride. Making his three times when he was brought on earth, killed, crucified, raised up. And raised up again. Amen. And then he came to heaven. Hallelujah. And he ascended manifesting himself in the form of his body which is his bride the woman you get it that is part of his body number two number three he comes to consolidate sasa the three stages of the purpose of redeeming us. Amen. Alafu hiyo nyingine ni wote mwili wote kutoka wale wa kwanza mpaka leo mpaka wale Amen. Are together? Amen. That's right. So to the hepe ile yetu. Amen. Oh, let me bring one or two so that you uh, detect. Take us zero to two one four eight. Is that Christ the same as the Paragraph eight. That's one paragraph. That's the consolidate what we have been talking about. Now in each local church, there is this nine spiritual gifts that is given to the people. That's what you know. You know of first Corinthians 12 for speaking tongues and interpretation. Every member of the body of Christ is subject to any of those gifts. Anaikila mshirika wa mwili wa Kristo anahusiana hizo ifaa hizo karama. And God gives them and works through the members of his church. Are we together? He will not work outside that body. No, no. no. They, are all, they are all working together. To the perfecting of the body of Christ. And let me say that is what we are here at uh, not tonight, today, this morning. Amen. Uh, for the setting in order or getting ready of the soon appearing of our blessed Savior, Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. And so on. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Brother, Dugu. those things must be in the church. That's how God wants to work in his body. And our God is a spirit. 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 Amen. 
Hallelujah. We shall end with this quotation for going to the The spoken word is the original seed. It's the truth that you may have probably won it. And you creature, yes, it is only made of his kind. To be his expressed word who express on earth. That is what that body is. That body of Jesus Christ. That mystical body. Is the word of God expressed here on earth. Yeah. If you will see God creating, you must see it through that body. If you see God with anything, you will be in that body. Now Jesus Christ was God expressed word. Then what are we to be? That's as the pastor has said to us. Son of God too. One of our own people. Yeah. In the express word in the church. Yeah. To go in another. Neno ilo jeleza dani akali sikari mo. Kita jeleza. Hallelujah. Amen. Because that's what the sons and daughters of God are. Even if you want to ask for a piece of money, you express what? No, no, you know, you just let the church. Daniel, can you watch the church? Can you see the meaning? The mystical body of Jesus Christ. Who the money was seen by Jesus Christ? Which is the word express? Oh, the neno ikiwa imejeleza. Not just sitting there that we are the word, we are the word. No. Si ukali kusema si neno, lakini ukiendeleza. Running on, because it is God Himself. The mungu mnyeo. Manifesting it. Akiwa na di, ana di di sana. That's the mystical body of Christ. Who on Julie Mwini was seen by Jesus. Carrying on the same words that Jesus did when he was here on earth. See, wa kitenda mambo yale ambayo Yesu aliyatenda alipokuwa hapa duniani. Hallelujah. Amen. You are part of that body. Kama ni sema umeingia. Yes, yes. You need up to rest. Where was kumzike? No. La, until you see. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Oh, I love that brother. Amen. Amen. And the promise is, if God does not do what he promised in the Bible, then he is not God. Hallelujah. Amen. Then he says, shall not be satisfied when he does exactly what he has. I see here in the Bible. Catholic, 
Unaweza kuwa naenda kama wale wa Luteri au kama wa Luteri, Methodist au kama wa Methodist, ndio kama wa Catholic, the Pentecost of kind after his kind, na Pentecost pia nao naenda yao, the oneness after his kind, wale wa umoja kwa naenda yao, the Trinity after it, wale wa utatu kwa naenda yao, but if you are God's kind, lakini kama una aina ya Mungu, that is different. Hiyo ni jambo tofauti. You are the express image of the world. Wewe ni ile sura ya neno inayoeleza making itself manifest. Ikifanya yenyewe hivi. Bwana you can't you can't you can't help it. Hiyo wewe jisaidia tu. If the world is in you, kama neno ni ndio yako. Na wewe umezaliwa Amen. That's the kind that is coming for the rapture. Oh, amen. Oh my, what? It's got to. And if the water falls on it, na kama ne maji yaki wapuka juu yake, it has got to do. Na pamoja hivi. Amen. Maybe you have it. Ingine unaje you have the word with you una neno ndani yako but it's not express lakini baada ya dhihiri because the word neno the word has not come upon that word so man haja kuja juu ya neno then then give him a bath a time basi wewe mtakayozaliwa yakimiminika juu ya hiyo neno inapopatiwa kuzaliwa amen na hiyo maji ni roho wa Mungu amen haleluya have the one in them. Amen. They have the one. But they are not open themselves to the spirit of God to come in. Lakini ba hawaje jifungua wao wenyewe kwa roho ya Mungu aje aingie ndani. Ah. Bagari na juice. Because of knowledge. Na babu leo juice. God made man. Ni no king in his own image. I just don't think I got time to prophet is saying. He doesn't have time. Mm. All right, all right, let me, because I want to also run, run to get to the end. Three eight eight sister. I'm not the same person. Now the power of the believing church. Zile nguvu za kanisa linaloamini Christ has all power in heaven Kristo anazo nguvu zote mbinguni na hapa ardhini Say you believe that Anasema unaamini hilo the congregation says Amen Niko nasema amen See what the prophet is saying Je unaona kile nadhani anachosema Christ has all power all power in heaven and on earth You believe that ndio kwamba Kristo anazo nguvu zote mbinguni na hapa duniani je unaamini what if is in you na je vipi kama yuko ndani yako has Christ got all power je Kristo anazo nguvu zote umesikia hiyo nitakia nazungumzia amen ah na kama umesikia wameona yani na pia natuzungumzia nini amen anakupeleka katika neno zile nguvu alizokuwa ndani ya Kristo akisema all power is given unto me in heaven and in earth and in earth amen in the video anapoliza basi je the christ is in you as christ got all power kama christ yuko ndani yako je christ anazo nguvu hizo zote how many believe wangapi naamini oh brother that's where he wants he's pointing us to something amen amen anatukumia hapa le kabisa hata ukijaribu kukataa hii ya kusikuma come on haleluya amen roho wa Mungu anatufenda amen mpaka anatusukumia kabisa hata ukijaribu kwenda hivi anakuuliza kwani Yesu ana nguvu zote mbinguni na dunia amen na akiwa ndani yako atakuwa na hizo nguvu zote amen utasema la hebu kwa bila bila hizo nguvu hakuna kanisa amen una Alright, Matthew 8:18. Alright, he is the seed one in his body. 
Yeye ni ile mbegu neno ndani ya mwili. Haleluya. Ndani ya mwili wako. The seed word in his body. Yeah. Ile mbegu neno ndani ya mwili wako. And he in us becomes the seed word in us. Na yeye kwa ndani yetu anafanyika ile mbegu neno ndani yetu. What? Ni all that was God. Yote God was ambao Mungu alikuwa according to Christ. Aliaminiana ndani ya Kristo. And all Christ was. Na yote ambao Kristo alikuwa was born into the church. Yaliminiwa ndani ya kanisa. That's the power. Na hizo ni nguvu. Amen. Na hizo ni nguvu. Na kwa pia hata kutoa kwa madhehebu. Amen. Hatungetoka bila nguvu zake. Amen. Ni kweli? Amen. Hatungeona hata nyuri kufunuliwa ni nguvu zake. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Then I can say, now watch remember God's law of reproduction. Now ruka ile sire ya Mungu ya kujizalisha mabongeze kuzaa after its time. Yaani kuzaa na ina yake. That's right. Amen. Amen. And then the seed of Christ the word na ile mbegu ya Kristo neno must come through his body lazima ikuje kupitia mwili wake and then the prophet laughs and ha ha hapo nabii anacheck ha ha haleluya amen wewe kwa ndani mungu ana to fix the way i look at it yeah the way i look at it ile la meiona mimi the 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 prophet is preaching Christ the mystery of god but actually he is preaching to us Akit anatuhubiria sisi ya what we are in Christ Jesus. Yaani vile kile sisi tulicho ndani ya Yesu Kristo that we must accept kwamba lazima tukubali. Tukubali. Amen. Kwamba kama ile neno iko ndani yetu na neno ni mbegu lazima ipitie kwa mwili. Amen. Isaya na aina yake. Amen. Are we together? Amen. That's right. Amen. down there and say man he wants it to go seeking right good and he'll jump with sun dania dania to be soon amen okay and the, the seed of christ must 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 come through his body na ile mbegu ya kristo lazima lazima ije kupitia mwili wake not through a denomination sio kupitia madhehebu but through a born again seed of the word lakini kupitia mbegu iliyozaliwa mara ya pili ya neno must come through lazima ipitia that's where now the foolishness of accepting the word and being called uh put it when it comes to the holy ghost When you come to the Holy Ghost, if you want the word, allow him. Why is Holy Ghost in yeah. on that word? Amen. So that it can bear its own kind. In his eye and in the God. Daniel Bush. Amen. Now remember, what is it? Christ's seed. Ile mbegu Christo. Ah. How does my seed come? Je, ile mbegu inakujaje? Ile mbegu yangu inakujaje? Amen. Kupitia mwili. The seed of a man, ile mbegu ya mwanadamu ama mwanamume. There are two grains just in the air. Wewe zao watoto tu ya 1, you must have a body. Lazima uwe na mwili. Through which your seed should pass through. Kupitia ambao ambao utapitisha mbegu yako kwa mwili. To bear its kind. Ili ile huo ili huo mwili hiyo mbegu isaye na ina yake. Ina yake. Amen. Akiangalia watu wakiangalia wataona watoto kama wewe. Amen. Wakike na wakiume wakiangalia wanasema huyu lazima watakaje wale ambao najua mtu akimwangalia huyu atasema huyu ni tuje tu anasema huyu ni nani wewe ni mungame tu sasa kwa sababu si wameona lakini yani akilipitia katika mwili wake mwili ambao ni bibi yake amen ni kweli exactly amen for no way amen how to acha yani mtu hapa duniani anasema ako na mbegu na ako na mbegu na yani anataka tu anaenda kulimani alafu akiteremka mzee ana katoto asiye kimeza hakuna kitu kama hiyo ama ipo kuna how does the apple tree see come je ile mbegu ya 
mchuchi wa kofa ina kujana mna gani? Through the body. Nukupitia mwini. C is through the body. Begu nukupitia mwini. And the church is the body of Christ. That's right. Na kanisa ni mwini wa Yesu Christo. Amen. And the Bible church. Na kanisa la Biblia. This part produces itself in both. Ya kukuzaliwa. Kuna jizaa ndani ya mwili na he produces himself ye yeah, ana jizaa mwenyewe ndani ya mwili ndani ya mwili amen is charge kan sala this it is his word ambao ni neno la so that people can see the confirmation of hebrews 13:8 ili kwamba watu waone ah ni bidisho kwa kwa 13:9 brother amen amen ili watu waone ha yesu kristo yule jana ya amen Lazima hiyo bebe ipitie katika mwili. Kristo mwenyewe atizae. Amen. Haleluya. Bebe yake itasoa Kristo kama yule. Amen. Leo kama vile alivyokuwa, kesho kama vile alivyokuwa. Amen. Akitenda kazi zile zile, tabia zile zile. Amen. 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 Mm. This is not denomination the denomination I pray now this is those in the orbit waiting for the countdown you know what i mean <laughs> I am fixing to take a rocket glory rocket amen amen oh my i'm finishing i want to be somewhere Then the bride must must, must the bride body must follow the head Basule mwili wa bibi harusi lazima ufuate kichwa for it is part of his resurrection and part of the beast the revelation of the seven seals this God is part of the it is impossible for it not to go it is part of God's mystery how God revealed himself here vile Mungu alivyotumia yeye mwenyewe hapa and raised it up by the word na akaufufua kutia maneno amen so he revealed his charge hii anafunua kanisa lake raising it up by the same word na akifufua tena kupitia neno lake it is part of his report to his head he said when the spirit of the tat as the head was took from the grave kama vile kitu kilivotolewa kule kaburini so must the body follow him hivyo hivyo mwili pia lazima mfuate back to end tena kuna kule ende unajua au kwa kwa nini sio kwa proper sisi no unajua the bride go back to end and so on this bride who is following him to end is a bride who is born again has been to calvary through Amen. Ule bwana harusi na bibi harusi being the body of the bride groom. Yeah, bibi harusi alikuwa mwili wa bwana harusi. Amen. Um, um must follow must follow the bride because that's the head. Ah uh, lazima afuate bwana harusi kwa yeye ndiye kichwa. Bride lazima afuate the bride groom kwa sababu hiyo bride groom is the head. Amen. And the head is revealed. Na kichwa kimefunuliwa. Come back with the shadow light
Utamulizo wa Kristo anasema huyo mke ni ye Kristo. As long as you are pregnant with the same one. Murali tumbe tumbwa mimba na hiyo neno which is his God. Ambao ni mwili wake. You have took his body. Umetwaa mwili wake become in him. Na ukawa ndani yake when you took the word. Una ulipotwa neno not the tree. Sio kero the word. Amen. Haleluya. Amen. Allow the water to Go, uh, upon the word uh, Hallelujah. Amen. Then you can never move away from him. He's a way stronger than Mr. Therefore, the body cannot recognize. Don't you fail this. The body, therefore, cannot recognize any other age. Yeah, but the one. Who is Christ? About Christ in you, Daniel, the hope of glory, manifesting himself, expressing that this is my God. Amen. Amen. Now, like he identified the body of Jesus Christ, he identified the body of the bride here on Amen. There was a case sometime back in Tanzania. Um, a brother uh, had error and fell uh, in, I think it was fornication. Shortly after believing. Amen. And uh, so the owner of that uh, sister or that woman. Understood that he did not come for fellowship. No, I mean, 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 I mean, I mean, I mean, I so they asked, they asked him, so now can we pray for you? Yes, 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 so they started praying. And praying. Wow. Meanwhile, those people now are saying now. These people are resting in their time. That is the one of that is God. Eventually, my that brother fell down. And Started talking. So why are you bothering me? This is your brother here, you are saying your brother. On such and such a day, he could fly and fly. Yeah, he, he believed. And then on such and such a day, he could fly and fly. He went and baptized him. Yeah, days after that, he could And wow. He came and communicated with so and so. And he put it like a of that house. And he built a moment here of Juba. So let me kill him. He's a hypocrite. Yeah, he's a hypocrite. 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 He's a h
Ndio sababu hauna nguvu always sitting kila wakati mgonjwa mgonjwa you know if you don't confess in king unajua kama ukihutubu kabisa atakuwa atakuwa amen atakumaliza sababu hapo na maji anaanza kushika all right so the brother say no akasema la you have got no right to kill our brother hauna haki ya kumwa ndugu yetu we pray that Jesus died for him yes alimfilia you have to go out lazima utoke you have to go out lazima utoke ya kumbuka The Lord begins that this boy here is sick. Bwana alijua kama huyu kijana hapa ni God and he was um, a son of God. Na yeye alikuwa ni mwana wa Mungu. But he could not throw away that demon. Angeza kuzo pepo yeye mwenyewe. He needed uh, himself in another brother. Ali alimhitaji Yesu mwenyewe akiwa ndani ya ndugu mwingine. Amen. Those brothers are the ones that cast out that demon. Ah wanuku ndio wale kukuzo ile pepo. Haleluya. man um, was possessing demons plan alikuwa amepangawa na mapepo and so the nomination they went there watu wa marebo wakaenda pale they prayed kamombea kamombea ndio wacheza wewe na wengine wao walikukuzwa by those demons na hawa mapepo they went to them baadaye the village they remember is another man here hawa wanajua katakuwa kwamba kuna mtu mwingine hapa yeah so they called him wakamuita said no me what can i do sasa sasa mimi nitafanya nini? Wale watu wamekuwa kimwombea wanaogopa. Kama jitai, lakini wewe pia njoo ujaribu. Njoo jaribu hata wewe. So the brother that away aside and that go now. And go in but I'm depending on you. Ah, ndugu akaenda kumwomba huko sasa sasa nikienda mimi na kujaribia wewe. Depending on you. Nataka wewe. Kutoka na Mungu alikuwa katika madhehebu yuko ndani ya mwili wake ule mwili unaonekana mna gani nje yule ndugu hapo anakana kama wale maaskofu na wale wakuu wa dini aliwaje kumkuzo pepo just a simple man alikuwa ni mtu wa kawaida maybe his coat had cracked somewhere ingine hata coat lake ilikuwa imepasuka lakini Mungu haishi ndani ya magot his his right body ule mwili wake wa biharusi is the flesh ndio mwili wake anaoishi uko na amen yeah the flesh of the believers yani mwili wa the that ule umbaji upya is in their body ndani ya mwili yao by the flesh. Ame ana vitwa ndani ya mwili. Au together there. Amen. So you see that's where 
Unaona hapo ndio anapotaka asisitukie. Hallelujah. Amen. Mm. And this man or these people can never leave the word. Ah, what? Always kuliacha neno. They will have to stay with that word. Ni mtawabidi wadumu neno neno. And stay with it. Na wadumu nayo. And keep God expresses. Mpaka Mungu ajeleze tena neno. This is my God. Kwamba huu ni mwili wangu. Which I Finish our time. And the way to Nisha. I won't quote it, but it's there. He says, the prophet says, do not um, pay to be in this place. Yeah, and to be in this place. Amen. Na kwamba waaminio watafukuza mapepo. Amen. Hiyo ilikuwa ni madai. Amen. Ya. Ya. Kwa kwamba yani zile kazi zilizofanya na wao watafanya. Hiyo ni madai. Amen. Don't make him yani not the same today as he was. He says he's the same. Nasema yeye ni yule yule. Si ni madai kwa sababu yeye haja madai. Amen. Oh, but it must not for me. What the prophet is saying. Um, mm, we don't want to, to bring him back like Jesus, like God who changes. And himself he says he doesn't change. And then we look like we want to say he, he changes.
bukan what Judas did. What did he do? Judas ada apa yang ini? Prepare his last essay. Buka aria kaya musuh. Said what did he do? Sama ye ada apa yang ini? He doubted Christ's claims. Ali shuku yale madai ya Kristo. After he started to, uh, to walk with him. Baada ya kuanza kutembea na yeye. He doubted. Ali shuku that is this is the son of God. Mashuku amba je kwa nini ni mwana wa Mungu? But you see even Peter Jumanata ya Petro Jesus said where but he didn't want Jesus to talk about his going to die and so on. Mahali ambapo alikuwa hataki Yesu azungumze kuhusu kwa mambo yanayoenda kufa na mambo kama Masi and then uh, uh, a special uh, the, the prophecy was meant to him. Akisha unabii special kwa ajili yake ukatoka. Amen. So you never doubt Christ claims. Wewe usiwae shuku yale madai ya Kristo. Say Pentecostals, don't you never do that? Wa Pentecostal msiwae kufanya hivi. Businessmen, don't you never do that? Na biashara pia msiwae kufanya hivi. Don't you doubt his claims? Siwae shuku yale madai yake. He is the same yesterday today and forever. Yeye yule jana leo na hata milele. Yeah. We should never put a doubt there. Atupaswe kuweka shaka pale. For all the promises that he said we shall accomplish. Kwa hiyo hadi zote alizosema tunapaswa kuzitimiza. When you were saying it, alikuwa akizisema when you when you believe. When you when you believe. Hata wakati ukiamini, those are uh, Jesus explained. Ayo ni madai ya Kristo that one if you are a believer the works that you do you did you will do also. Kama kama ni muaminio kazi alizofanya pia na wewe utazifanya. Don't doubt that claim. Na usishuku hayo madai. He is the same yesterday today and forever. Jambele jana leo na hata Judas doubted his claims. Judas alishuku hayo madai yake. And he became very popular and sold it out. Na akawa na maarufu sana ana mpaka akajiuza. I doubt kwa sababu ya kule kudoubt akawa katika kundi ya wa wengi ambao wali doubt. Mafarisayo, Masadukayo and so on. Wakaona huyo ni mwanafunzi wa Yesu mzuri. Amen. Kama wale wa kina Petro. Mwamini wa mzuri wa neno ndio yule ambaye ambaye anasema ah sisi tunapatizwa kwa njia nyingine si ile ya zamani na ishara na maajabu ni wanafunzi tu si wakati huo na na unakuwa popular in the churches katika makanisa but that is doubting the claims of the law lakini hiyo ni kushuku yale madai ya bwana haleluya and the character of uh, Judas character caused him to sell out um, uh, to his critics na ile tabia ya Judas ilimsababisha amuuze kwa watu wao eh yani wenye kwa wenye kumkosoa Yesu tukafanya sasa auze Yesu yani kwa wale wanaomkosoa Yesu amen and today the same thing is taking place leo jambo hilo lafikia many times mara nyingi the character that we let ourselves mold into tabia ambazo tunajiachilia tujiingiza ndani yake sell us out Na sisi the cares of this world katika shughuli za ule mwenye the people that would criticize na kwa watu ambao wangeweza kushutumu sasa hawa hawa shutumu tena wanatoa mtu mzuri amen huyu ameachana na mambo ya roho takatifu sasa huyu ni wanene peke yake neno kila roho takatifu mtakaa kinga na mnaye amen sababu ni mbele ninahitaji maji ili ifanye ni ine Sasa Bila Kristo. Then we came to the what? Kaya katika neno. Then we deny Christ 
Je, unaona ile roho aliyekuwa ndani ya Petro akiwa ndani ya? Do you see the same the same uh, power as it was brother brother? Je, unaona zile nguvu zilizokuwa ndani ya ndugu Do you see yourself in? Wait, wait, je, unajiona wewe mwenyewe ndani ya? And if not, kama sivyo, basi nifanye hivi. Nifanye mimi. I am willing. Niko tayari. I am ready. Niko tayari. Hey, I'm not blessing you, I'm Amen. Amen.